What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Chimera led by Jaya Varman. Don't know why I keep saying his name. I guess just because I'm... I'm just kind of impressed with myself for remembering the name Jaya Varman. I guess it's Jaya Varman the Seventh. Either way, I'm just gonna keep saying it, so... It's not like anybody complained. If you... If you absolutely hate me saying his name, just, you know... Tell me. I'll keep doing that, but at least I'll know. Um, anyway, we're going for that sweet, sweet science victory. And uh, things are actually going quite well. We got a pretty good lead in terms of science. We have 50 technologies. The person behind us is 46. Uh, we got 260 science per turn. And there's really nobody that can beat that. Uh, however, uh, Cleopatra, or Cleopatra, or whatever, uh, already launched an Earth satellite. She is 12 technologies behind me. Basically, I just got the technology to do what she did. And she's 12 technologies behind. So she probably skipped over everything that is not necessary for rocketry. It's an extremely strange thing to see. I guess it's interesting, which is fun. Um, but it's just weird as well. Uh, we're building our own spaceport, so we can, uh, after that, we can launch our own Earth satellite, which will take uh, a while. But, you know, we're working on it, and we're getting more research labs, uh, campuses, libraries, uh, universities, everywhere. Basically, we want to get the next great scientist, because this is actually a pretty good one. Uh, he triggers all Eureka moments for everything in the uh, information era, which means all the technologies in this sort of pane will be uh, boosted, which is great. Uh, next, we got a Grey Merchant soon, and I'm hoping it's going to be a good one, but I'm not really sure, but it's something to look forward to. Aside from that, we were kind of working on our amenities because they're kind of low across the board, and uh, getting a couple of entertainment complexes and making a few buildings there is hopefully going to help us out in that regard. I'm not sure how much of a difference it's really going to make, but it's worth a try. Okay, I'm not selling nearby Nubia anymore, so they're, you know, happy about that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. We are building a battleship, which is about to be finished, which is cool. And we saw a bit of an influx of Spanish troops on our borders, both down here near Toledo and uh, over here. It's a little bit strange. He might be planning on going to war. And, uh, to be fair, he does have the highest military strength in the game, but he is about 10 technologies behind. So he doesn't have infantry, he doesn't have artillery, uh, definitely doesn't have machine guns. So, actually he might have artillery, but I, I, don't, I don't think he actually does. Either way, he will not be able to actually defeat me, despite the number of troops that he has. Uh, we should probably get a sewer. Like, we need housing here. This city's actually grown quite quickly. We probably need housing in a few more sp uh, spots, such as over here. And the islands in general. Over here as well. Over here. Over there. Over here. Sh okay. <laughs> I did not realize that we needed housing this badly. I guess that's just another thing to focus on. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of that, because we are about to finish urbanization, which allows us to make neighborhoods, uh, which give you so much housing that throughout the rest of the game, basically you make one neighborhood per uh, big city, and you will probably no longer need to do anything else. So look forward to that. And the policies it gives you actually are not very good for us, but... I actually kind of like military research. Like, if you're going extremely aggressive, you could actually use this to get a bunch of extra science. Uh, but I feel like it wouldn't really give you that much unless you had an encampment in, like, every city. Which, uh, doesn't really make sense to have that many. As nice as generals can be, you don't want to have more than two or three. Generally. I'm just saying. That's how I feel. That looks kind of nice. Alright, turns are also starting to take a little bit longer. And, um, oh boy, okay. I considered going to war to sort of break the monotony 
of just waiting. Uh, thing is, basically everybody's allied one another, which is really bad for us. I want to see uranium. That would be nice. Don't care about reformed church. That's cool. We'll stay formed. You know, we don't need Protestantism. We'll stick with Catholicism. Um, I think I'm just going to go with Scorched Earth here. Culture is not really our, our thing. Ooh, we can have privateers. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Because we, we definitely have space for a district, and actually two districts in the city. But, yeah, it's, it is dealing with a lack of housing. Let's get a nice little neighborhood over there. That's going to look pretty cool. We could get an aqueduct. But we'd have to get rid of the sheep, which I really don't like doing. The Venetian Arsenal. Ooh. I'm not sure I want to make that, though. I think I'm going to make as many traders as we can right now. Alright, so we got a battleship ready for, for battle. I'm going to actually send him over to, like, this area. This sort of bay or whatever this would be. Look, I don't live by water. Actually, I guess I kind of do. But then again, you know, it's like... Not like this. I don't know what you would call this. I want to say that it would be a fjord without ice, but I also don't technically really know what a fjord is, so... If you're looking for water-based knowledge, don't watch my channel, because I got very little of it. Go watch Water Facts TV. They got some real nice videos, though. Actually, I don't think that's a real channel. I was just memeing. I kind of am tempted now to look it up, though. Because it would be amazing if there were a channel entirely dedicated to facts about water. Cordoba, where did you make that? What's this, Saladin? What's the, uh, what's the haps? So everybody pretty much has an ally. Like, Indonesia's allied... Okay, she's no longer allied. Amani Torre, no longer allied. Selen is allied to Poland. Okay. So we might be able to attack someone. Basically, everybody's starting to hate each other. Like, it's towards the end of the game. Somewhat. People start hating each other. It's the rules. That's just the way that, you know, stuff works. I'm going to grab a bank here, actually. And like I said, I'm going to send you over there. Are we about to finish anything... Not really. Oh, no. Industrial zone districts pr provide plus 10 tourism. I really, really don't want that merchant. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, I guess if only to prevent Spain from getting this merchant, but... I really, really don't care for, for that one. Because we have, like, two industrial zones. That would be, like, what, 20 tourism? I really don't think that that is worth even mentioning. 20 tourism. That's not even gonna put... a dent... of a dent into into the, the score difference here. So I'm just gonna pass on that merchant and hope that the next one's better. Even though it will take a while for someone to actually get this one. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, it'll take a while. I'll see what I can do. I would just like the ability, though, to make nukes. Because that's really going to... sort of dissuade people from attacking me. Not that I care. Oh, it's the damn... Why are you attacking my city? What's your big deal, dude? What's your problem with me? I should get my own submarine and just blast this guy. But I, I need to get... Um, electricity for that. So I can't really do it right now. 
We should probably go grab a builder and try to fix the damage. I want to see what's... Okay, so they had an AT crew. I forgot. I already checked what they had, and yes, it was an AT crew. Let's see if we can maybe take it out, though. If the submarine is not going to get involved, that would be pretty good. I'll send in my own battleship, too. At least he'll be useful uh, if he goes after this guy. I feel like we had another boat somewhere, but... I don't really use my boats, do I? Caravel, what are you even doing? Are you just scouting or? All right, you know what? Just go home. You need an upgrade. Caravels are outdated. This is a little bit sad to see. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the free, uh, the free two envoys though. We can get Soul again. And I do want to make sure that we keep Auckland because their bonus is really good. I mean, just look at a city like Lingapura and you'll see. Like, that's insane. The gains from Auckland are nuts. Okay, yeah, you don't like me. What, my production's too low? I'm a warmonger, okay. I mean, at least that's like valid criticism. Saying I don't produce enough is not really. Oh boy, here we go. Shot my cavalry again. Oh wait, I just... Yeah, I wasn't thinking. A T crew, I think, is actually anti-cavalry. I wasn't thinking. Counter to cavalry class units. Like, the, I literally sent him into the one thing that he is most vulnerable to. That The death of that dude is completely on me. I mean, I just bought him with money, though. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. How much did I lose in money because of that? Yeah, it's like a thousand gold. I don't care about that. That's not a lot of money. I'm rich, dude. Wait, why? Oh, so we can make a battleship here? I'm not sure I understand, because this city apparently needs two coal to make a battleship, but this city can make one? That seems a bit strange. But okay, I'll actually buy a battleship though. Just so we got a slightly better military force because right now it's honestly pretty low. And having a somewhat decent navy is actually super useful, especially battleships with their range are not something to ignore. And then I'll probably have the trader go to the capital that we're about to finish to get some extra production for the spaceport. Try and reach 50. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on, like what people are planning on and all that. That's a bad deal, so you gotta know for me, bye. At least give me a deal that you think maybe I might want to accept. This was just offensive. Yeah, so we won this one and we should be able to, to get him. Because we're gaining on Nubia pretty quickly. Right, barbarians apparently are out there again. Dude, this is so annoying. What up little AT crew? I feel like the submarine should not be able to hit my battleship because they use torpedoes. Which uh, obviously travel underwater. Uh, I just got a stock exchange, that's good. You don't really need housing too badly. So they made the trader, maybe a spy, let's get some spies. I feel like we might be able to spy on... Um, Egypt or something. Uh, this is pretty good too. That's a lot of gold. But I just feel like we could steal soul back. Then again, that's not really going to help me anymore. Alright, let's, let's go after Lisbon and get a bunch of extra money. Like a whole bunch of extra money actually. Alright, go. 
And back to waiting. So I feel like Spain might want to declare war, but they're not really doing much. They're just kind of standing there looking, I guess, menacing. But they got like, conquistadors, warriors, bombards. It's, you know, in truth, it's really not scary. At least I'm definitely not scared of them. And to be fair, I would actually welcome the the war. That would be exciting. Because we could actually get just kick him up. Why would you even settle there? Hold up. Somebody Somebody with a PhD in Civ tell me why this would exist in this world. What are you doing? Oh my god. People are declaring war on Philip. That's... Okay, so apparently he can shoot through solid land. And hit my dude. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. You got a range of three, right? So if we move back... Oh, we can't see him then. Okay, let's just go heal up. Let's play it safe. Because I don't want to lose that boat. We got uranium apparently somewhere. Where is it? Okay, we got some here. The islands, maybe? Where's the second uranium? This is always a fun mini game to play once you get a new resource. It's find the thing. And uh, it's actually pretty hard. Like, we should have. A second source. It could, I guess it could be hidden like... One... It doesn't even matter that much. I'm just curious to see... If I settled anywhere near it. Which generally I, I don't do. I always have bad luck. Okay. Grab electricity. And let's trade with... I guess we'll just trade with, like, Mahindra Pavarda. Or Parvada. Alright, Ironclad, become a destroyer, my dude. So, people are going to war, which is actually pretty nice for me, because that's going to take some of the heat, hopefully, uh, off of me, and they won't call me a warmonger anymore. I mean, they probably still will, because people are jerks in this game. Man, I really wish I could see the Uranium. There should be a way, like... Look for it easier. Even in the strategy view, I'm just not seeing it. I guess there isn't a second one. But it did show me two icons, so I was a little bit... Actually, I could switch this view. I think it's supposed to make the turns go by quicker. I mean, I have to say, I love this view and the way it looks, but... There's so many things going on that it's honestly really confusing. But it might be an idea to just to play one full game fully in strategical view, or strategy view, or whatever. I mean, it looks so nice, though. Like, the little illustrations and stuff, I love that. And no, apparently it does not make the turn go by faster. I think that's pretty much all on your processor. Okay. Yeah, we get it. Uh, we need housing. We need amenities. I already know. I mean, Angkor Wat's kind of okay. But that would take so long. And I feel like it's not really worth it to, to even make that. Like a neighborhood would be much better for this city. I mean, I'll probably never use this for anything good, right? It's a damn tundra, but again, it's just play it safe. Put that neighborhood nice and in the snow. I'm sure they will absolutely love that. Get a sewer. Alright, so we got a destroyer now who's ready to kick some ass. Let's go heal. 
and send in the second battleship. Basically, you... I think you need to stand next to the submarine to actually reveal it. Uh, which is not easy to do when it's, uh, invisible. Okay, apparently Egypt really not likes merchants too, but... They're not gonna be able to... You know, beat me to this one, so I'm gonna have to pass on him. Even though... This one is information era. So there, there might not be a, a great person after him. So if there's no great scientist after this one, I'll just grab the merchant. And just live with the fact that I got a useless merchant. Uh, there's not much else I can really do. Just, you know, live your life. Oh god, how's he doing this? He's going pretty hard in the whole... Culture category. We might have to destroy him. Oh, come on, my quarry. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, where is this little jerk? I will find him. Aren't destroyers, like, experts at destroying... Um... Submarines? I feel like they should be. Reveals naval raiders within sight range. That's actually really good. We need that guy. I mean, being able to declare different kinds of wars is pretty nice. Not to mention, this is a great policy. So we're going to go with mobilization. This will take a while, but it will be worth it. Let's just get a shipyard. Let's send, we got two more envoys. I mean, Kabul's pretty good. Brussels is like, okay. I think I might want to try and go after Kabul. It just seems like that would be worth it. If you manage to actually steal them away. Um, because that double experience from battles is actually really good. And in fact, it might be so good that it's actually unbalanced. Double experience. It should be like 20% extra experience. Then you got a nice boost. But no, it's double. Compared to, you know, your traders are immune to being plundered on water. That's such an easy choice to make. Same with Soul, you got like one boost. Some of these are just way too good, and actually I would include Auckland now that I've, I've met them. Right, we were gonna look at one of these uh, coastal cities and see the extra production that we get thanks to Auckland. It's gonna be real high. I'm telling you right now. Look at that. So we are getting, because we have one city-state, six production extra, or six, uh, tw six tiles, so 12 production, In that's just one city. I mean, if you look at all my cities, that is a hugely unbalanced uh, thing. It's so much better than the other ones available. So I guess that's one gripe to have with the... I'm gonna find this dude. That's one gripe to have with the city-states is that their, bo their bonuses are completely unbalanced. Wait, where'd he go? Are you telling me he actually left? Interesting, okay. Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. In the next part, we're hopefully going to get this great scientist. We will keep working on our uh, spaceport. Basically, just, you know, push for that. People are starting to already launch satellites, which is really unlikely, but okay. And we might actually have to go to war with Spain to prevent them from winning their uh, tourism victory. And honestly, I would love to get my hands on, like, Barcelona. So we might actually do that. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments below. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you again real soon.